Okay, welcome back to Phone Lookout. Thanks for looking out for our videos. In today's video, I bring for you how to rewrite or change the IMEI number of your phone, at times mistaken as the serial number of the phone. Um, first of all, thank you to all who are already subscribed. You mean a lot to us. And if you aren't yet subscribed, please subscribe. There is a red tab with the word subscribe around or below the video, and I know you can't fail to find that. Click on it. Uh, so today I bring you yet another video to show you how to fix your IMEI number, which most people tend to think is the serial number. Now, this video also goes a long way to changing your IMEI number, but then I would discourage that because it is illegal. Just use an IMEI number that is yours, that is written on the back of your phone. So, for our today's case, we shall be using a Techno Camon C7. Now, this uses a MediaTek chipset. A MediaTek chipset is a chipset made by MediaTek Corporation and uh, the chip numbers are usually labeled empty. In this case, this is seven of ours is using MediaTek MT6573, I think so. Uh, the phones that uh, use MediaTek chipsets are Infinix, uh, some Huawei, uh, a few Sony's and Samsung's and Nokia's. Now why I'm mentioning this is because whenever the phone uses a MediaTek chipset, just know you could use this method to rewrite its serial number. A brief history about this phone. This phone was flashed because it had problems with powering on. However, it turned out it had something to do with the power button. But anyways, it was flashed. And the this person could no longer use their sim card they could no longer be able to make calls uh, check for airtime balance or send ussd codes on checking it up when i tried to check for the imei number uh, it gave me invalid so you all already know how to check for the imei number uh, that is done by typing star hash zero six hash on the dial pad and shall pop up your IMEI number. With that said, I won't be able to show you a video of when I was trying to find out the IMEI number, but I shall use screenshots I took of the process. So, no, it, this one. So basically what you do is you type star hash zero six hush so as you will see this is what my phone shows me i am ei invalid invalid this corresponds to sim one and this sim two so this phone should have two i am ei numbers and for that reason i will have to rewrite the i am ei numbers of this phone or is done using the Maui Meta Utility. So I shall click on start and type in Maui. Now, uh, as you see, I'm using Maui Meta version 9.1724. So I shall run this as administrator and that's by right clicking and click on run as administrator. So it shall pop up this prompt. Uh, click on yes that should load up the tool now at this point you may need to note that uh, you should have a functioning USB cable your phone charged up to about 50% of charge uh, then one crucial thing you should note is you should have already enabled USB debugging on your mobile device for this utility to be able to communicate with your phone. So I'll take you through the process. I shall just show you how to go into USB debugging mode. And I shall also do that by the use of screenshots that I took of the process. Uh, 
go into your phone come to settings click on settings scroll down uh, come to about phone uh, look for build number and uh, click on it seven times or more and this should be able to activate this option the developer options with the uh, developer options you will now be able to go to turn on the USB debugging so first of all you shall click on this tab right here uh, top right hand corner of the phone and it, this prompt shall shall come asking whether you want to allow development setting so click on ok you will note that this will have turned to blue now we shall come right down here to usb debugging to click at that button to be able to enable usb debugging so it prompts you again asking you to allow usb debugging come to ok and then it shall also turn blue and that's how you activate usb debugging on your phone having said that let's go back to r2 now on our tool we shall uh, con click on the reconnect button this helps the tool to boot the phone into meta mode now meta mode is the mode in which you shall be able to rewrite the ime number of the phone now go right ahead and click on reconnect so if you may notice uh, it says please connect cable to target and then power on uh, one thing I forgot to mention is if you notice there's this tab up saying I am EI download now when you click down on this arrow there are multiple options that would come but I already chose I am EI download and uh, click reconnect I'm unable to change that my phone is already connected to the PC via USB as you may see here. Now I need to power off the phone and then power it back on and this tool will be able to take it into meta mode. So contrary to do that I shall simply restart the phone. Basically that's like powering down and then powering up so i am restarting the phone now i think i shall be able to show you the meta mode screen how it looks like in picture uh, right now i have my phone booted into meta mode and therefore it has popped up this new window if you notice here i have only one sim slot being indicated here now to get the second one to show you shall come to change nv ram database file and click on that button it gives me this prompt tool can load rom that target click on yes now that should be able to bring up the second sim as you see it there however we shall begin by rewriting the ime number of the first line so i shall choose it and then type in the imei number now the imei number is a 15 digit number at the stage i hope you had written it down somewhere onto a paper from the back of the phone so you do not need to power off the phone to be able to read off that ime number of the paper at the back of the phone now I will type the first 14 digits and the 15th will be suggested automatically so write on mm -hmm. uh, also yeah you saw that prompt I got taken up and typed more when I type the 14th digit uh, the 15th digit came automatically as 8 and with that I will come to this button right here download to flash click on it this takes just a second and it will give you this prompt download IMEI to flash successfully um, 
so we shall choose the second line of sim card and in the ime tab we shall likewise type the first 14 digits of the ime i number and uh, the fifth tenth digit shall be suggested automatically or automatically filled by the tool and as you see it has been suggested as a five we shall then again come to the download to flash tab click on it and it blinks and again it gives us this outcome and shows download i m e i to flash successfully so basically that's the entire process after this simply close this window be able to click on disconnect to take the phone out of the meta mode with that said i shall show you screenshots of after i have finished writing the serial number so i'll check for the serial number after flashing the serial numbers in and they should be able to show as you notice my utility is still connected uh, with the target the target being my phone now i shall hit disconnect and disconnect has powered off the device from meta mode and it takes me to the charging screen uh, from which you may be able to now power on the phone as i had promised i shall show you the screenshots of when i check for the imei number after flashing them in so checking them for them so just as we did earlier on we shall type stir right there stir then hash zero six hash and now you notice the difference i am e i then shows me two of them and these are now the imeis of uh, first the first one for the first line the second one for the second line and that's it thank for thanks for watching phone lookout subscribe like comment give us a like and if you have questions leave them in the comment section uh, subscribing goes a long way to saying thank you now till next time phone lookout keeping your phones alive uh, subscribe actually to not miss out on any video never know which one will be of interest to you uh, signing out the second time phone lookout keeping your phones alive